guys, so welcome back. Long time overdue video. So today's gonna be a little video on a little bit of an update. So obviously I fitted the Scorpion exhaust on the last video. It's been on for three weeks, three or four weeks now. Um, it is absolutely fucking brilliant. I absolutely love it. It sounds amazing. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Nice and loud, doesn't sound too tinny, doesn't sound shit. Really nice sound. Um, exhaust tips look mint on the back, nice and big. Can't fault the system, absolutely brilliant. Nice and easy to install. So the company that I bought this exhaust system through on eBay, um, it was discounted, so can't really fault the price. It was made and was sent uh, within a week. But if you've got an R32, and you want an exhaust, I would definitely recommend a Scorpion non-res system. Definitely recommend it. I'll do a little bit of a sound test for you. Sounds good, man. Very nice. I like it, I like it. Fucking brilliant. I made a purchase a few days ago for the car, that's why it's all in there now. So I bought an airlift performance a v2 kit for the car so it's going to be on bags weeks i'm not doing it myself i could do it myself but i don't want to i want to get it done properly i want to get it done professionally i want it to all work so and i'm going to the r32 mega meet in i've got me and my girlfriend a hotel in chesterfield which isn't too far away from where it is so we're staying over there and then we're going to drive through we're meeting up with i think jack in the morning from catalytic uk I've also imported a diffuser from Germany, a rear diffuser for this car. Yeah, a little mod I did today while I was at Toby's house. Um, fitted my cherry hazard switch, looks absolutely mint, proper happy with that. Where's the old one? So there's the old one. Looks shit. New one's fitted, looks really nice. Nice little mod, nice and easy to do, 10 minutes. Uh, I'd recommend that if anyone has a Mark 5 Golf Cherry Hazard switch. Eight quid from eBay, easy job to do, makes it all look nice. So my mate Toby, who had the A4, he sold his A4 now. Uh, got his BMW 323 Ci. It'd be nice to actually do a little comparison. I mean, this probably will be faster, but that has 170 brake horsepower, 170. So he's got a 323 Ci, just as a little run around. He wants an S5 V8 or a E92, E46 M3. He's torn between the two, he doesn't know whether to get an E46 M3 or a S5 V8. So if anyone's got any experience with any of them cars, let me know. Because he's after one soon, until I think next year he's after one of them. But he wants to know what he wants to know what they're like, so let me know if you know what they're like. So he's got a 323. It'd be nice to see if, if you're interested, 
uh, we'll do some little rolling races and a 0 to 60 test. It'd be nice to have a little comparison racing wise, see what, see how much difference there is between the two. If that's something you'd like to know, let me know and I'll if that's something you'd like to watch then let me know and I'll do it. We'll do a video, do some pull, six gear pulls, some third gear pulls, whatever, on the dual carriageway. Um, the only reason it's taken me so long to do a YouTube video is because with the job I've got, I've had to do a lot of overtime lately, um, which involves working Saturdays and sometimes Sundays, so I haven't actually had a full weekend to actually do a video yet, so this was the first opportunity I had. probably do on the next video is I'll probably meet up with Toby, do some rolling shots of this in from his car, do some sound tests, flybys, see what the difference is between a 323 and an R32 is. I mean this is obviously going to be quicker but I want to know by how much because